Come walk with us. On a mission to stand up for black lives, Rob Bliss walked step by step from Jackson, Mississippi to the nation's capital. Some people paint or run for office. I'm, I'm walking. I'm going to sacrifice my feet. We're going to get those blisters and we're going to walk right through them. The idea started when he held up a Black Lives Matter sign in Arkansas and faced days of harassment from a town known for its white supremacy. Black friend, black friend. I realized that because of the color of my skin, I can walk through rural Mississippi without fearing for my life in a very serious way. You know, I will get that extra degree of safety. You know, I have had um, loaded AR-15s pointed at me, but they didn't pull the trigger. So Rob wanted to walk where others might not feel safe, like Duke Ellington senior Jordan Jennings, who showed up to cheer Rob on for his final five miles. I'm a kid, and there shouldn't I shouldn't be thinking about, am I going to make it to the next day? What will, what's going to happen if I get stopped by the police at the metro? I shouldn't have to think about stuff like that, but I do. With a surprise send off from his mom Saturday. This is my mom. She came here from Michigan to walk with me. Rob finished the journey. After two months and 1500 miles, Rob Bliss has reached Black Lives Matter Plaza with a simple message. Walk with me to show Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter! Since he was like 17, he's been doing these crazy, crazy, incredible things that I was trying to tell him you couldn't do, but he did it. And it was like, he has to know that we're here to support him and we're so proud of him. And we have to keep walking here after, even after we make it to the plaza, because there's so much more to do. Well, thank you for being here, seriously. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.